Hi everyone, this is Olivia Block and you're watching the Internet of Things show. Today we're talking about Windows IoT Core and IoT Central put together. And we have Dave Campbell with us today. Hey Dave. How you doing? Fine, how about you? I'm doing well. So Dave, can you actually for our audience uh, tell us a bit more about what you're doing at Microsoft? Sure. Uh, I'm a program manager on the Windows IoT team. And so, okay. of course, my team and your team work closely together to make sure that Windows IoT is the best client for Azure IoT. Awesome, great. Uh, and so, actually, today, I think what you want to do is actually walk th us through everything that someone, or the few things, because there's very little steps, actually, uh, that someone has to do to um, run some software on IoT Core, on Windows 10 IoT Core, and connect that to uh, Microsoft IoT Central, which is our SaaS offering for IoT, right? That's correct. Cool. Uh, how about we just jump in there, and I'm going to interrupt you to ask you questions. Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. Cool. Uh, so, of course, uh, I'm going to assume that people know about IoT Central. There have been a number of videos yes. uh, on that already, and so uh, basically I'll, I'll um, jump into the spot where we actually create a device. All right. And so up on our uh, website, there is a document that shows you essentially the same steps uh, that you would go through for uh, IoT Central anyway, yep. uh, except it has a few extra uh, steps in here to tell you about how to create a device, how to connect to the device, and, and that sort of thing. Okay, and so uh, essentially, all you do is you create your IoT Central application, yep. just like you normally would. That'll put you into the IoT Central Explorer, basically. Yep. And in here, you'll see the simulated devices. You'll see a Raspberry so you picked, Pi. So then we have three templates now. There's like the custom template in IoT Central. There's one for um, the started starter, um, the, the quick starter devices, right? So the sample yep. dev kits, and the one for Contoso, right? And you right. picked the one for I, dev kits, correct? I picked the sample dev kits. Correct. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Okay. So you basically end up with having that, that pre-configured you know, um, IoT central solution that has already a Raspberry Pi section, right? Correct. Okay. Exactly. And so what I'll do is I'll create a new device, and I'll say it's a real device. Okay. And it'll configure everything. Nice. And of course, there's nothing connected at the moment. Mm -hmm. And so we'll say connect to this device. And then we'll copy the connection string. But of course, the connection string is all the information you need uh, to connect to Azure IoT. And so then what you have to do is you have to put that connection string on the device. Okay. Okay. And uh, there's actually a UI on the device that you could use, okay. uh, but you can't always use the UI because sometimes the device is headless. And, and okay. so what, uh, what we generally do is we look at the IP address of the device. It'll be mm -hmm. displayed on the screen when you boot the device. Uh, and then we connect remotely to the, to the device that way. Got it. And so I've so got the connection. Let me ask you that real quick. So for, for those who are not familiar with Windows IoT Core, so does that functionality of doing remote connection or the UI and so on, is it part of Windows IoT Core or do you have to install additional software? No, it's part of Windows IoT Core. Got it. And so if you go to um, WindowsOnDevices.com. Uh -huh. uh, there's uh, you know step-by-step -step instructions from there Correct. on how to get an image, uh, the various tools, how to get started with uh, you know Visual Studio, uh, lots of samples, and so yeah. you know this awesome. is all this information is there. Correct. So you just slashed a like usual. Windows IoT Core image for that Raspberry Pi. Correct. You can do that from Noobs as well, right? Correct. Yeah, OK. Correct. Awesome. Easy. Yes, absolutely. And there's also a dashboard uh, from the site that you can download. And the dashboard will allow you to set up a new device. And it'll also Love discover that devices. Love that right? one. And so you can yeah. just flash it. And then once you flash it, um, and I'll, I'll show you what to do next. But once you okay. flash it, you can remotely connect to it. And so I'm just going to put this uh, connection string okay. uh, into uh, a file. Okay. And and then, and of course, you could use Notepad, but you know. Yeah, but no, you're, <laughs> you're fancy. Why do, why do that? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'll copy uh, essentially that file. Okay. Uh, and in the instructions, it actually tells you uh, exactly where uh, to copy it. So you can you know literally copy it out of the you know out of the document. Okay. Okay, and so let me. Do two things here. So first of all, let me grab my IP address okay. of the device. And so, whack, whack. And then I'll go back to the instructions and I'll paste the rest of it in. Okay. Mm 
Nice. Okay. Okay. So once it's copied, basically everything that the device needs now is on the device. Okay. And so what you can do is you also have, since you have the IP address, mm -hmm. you can remote into uh, the device. So okay. this is the same IP address. And this, okay. so if you go to HTTP colon IP address, you know, 8080, mm -hmm. uh, then you'll get a portal. And this is actually being served up by the device. By the device. Once and again, in the default Windows IT Core image. Exactly. Awesome. Uh, in, in the default image. Uh, and then in here, there's, you can go to apps. Uh -huh. And th this is very similar to, uh, you know, there's a, a task manager and there's, you know, app uh, install and uninstall and that sort of stuff. Okay. But if you go into the quick run samples, there's uh, an IoT hub client. Okay. It's already on the device. Nice. Uh, if you say deploy and run, what'll happen is, is it? it'll actually That's go simple. out to the web. Okay. Right? And it'll grab uh, the uh, application, the okay. latest application. It'll install it. It'll configure it. Uh, takes a couple of seconds to you know get the dependencies because okay. it has to download all of the all of the dependencies. So that'll take a but second. But it takes the latest and greatest off of that IoT hub client, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, exactly. And of course, the the client itself is on GitHub. Okay. Uh, the sample is all the code is there. So while that's while that's deploying. So basically, um, if I want to adapt the sample to my own needs, I grab the uh, the open source project, I change my code in there, and then I republish, and then I'm able to actually install on that absolutely. IT core device. Right. Products. Absolutely. And because this is Visual Studio, uh, essentially you can you know remote debug, you can re re remote deploy, you know set breakpoints, okay. you know all the uh, all of the, those things. Uh, and so if you look here, uh, essentially this is where you know the the, the temperature is uh, the uh -huh. temperature data is actually being generated. Generated okay. and sent up to uh, sent up to uh, IoT Central. Got it. And so let's go back here. And the, okay. the interesting thing is because IoT Central is based on IoT Hub, on on your side in that client application, you basically don't have much to change, right? It just it's quote unquote works. That's correct. That's okay. exactly right. This is taking a little longer to deploy. Uh, okay, there it goes. Yay. And so once it deploys, okay. Yep. So that's the that's the app. Okay. Um, and uh, let's see here. There's the you can see on the screen here where the temperature of the fake data is being displayed. Okay. And so if I go back over to uh, the portal here. Yeah. Right. And now I go to devices again. Okay, and Raspberry, have a new Pi. Raspberry Pi. So now there's a new one here. Okay. And it says that it's not simulated. Nice. Okay, and so if I go here, it's going to start uh, you populating can basic, data. Exactly. You okay. can go and you can start. I think because know, it's using uh, time series insights, you have to wait a 30, 30 seconds time frame. Oh, there you go. Boom. You have data showing up here. Yeah. Awesome. And so, you know, pressure, uh, temperature. Yay. Okay. Your and, business. And so there's, you can also. Send properties, of course, back. Okay, so it's, and, it's uh, supporting the, uh, the it, device twins. It supports the device twin hub. going basically in both directions, uh, and you know you can it's modify. It's almost boring. There's no code. Like <laughs> it's, well, you know, uh, can you, you can you can play with it and change code. And actually, the it's it's very it's pretty simple to. You know, I you know, agree. To, it's it's pretty straightforward. And actually, you have as you were saying that 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 app that sample app actually is open source. So you can go from there, and it's for now it's simulating the sensors there, right? So you can see it's a random number. Yes. Uh, but, correct. But yeah, very rapidly you're gonna put a hat on that pie, and you're gonna start using the actual sensors. Exactly. Uh, and and uh, because and it's all UWP, right? It's all UWP. There are a APIs built into UWP now to actually support sensors, so you can talk directly to the sensors. Um, we've got uh, samples uh, that show you, you know, how to connect the sensors, okay. and so it'll be very simple actually uh, to update the sample to be pulling off of a off of a sensor. Awesome. Uh, the only reason really that it's a uh, it's being simulated right now is so that someone doesn't have to buy a sensor in order to get going. In order to get going, yeah, yeah. That, that makes perfect sense. Awesome. Well, that was pretty straightforward. I love that. And well, thanks for showing us that, Dave. And uh, no, I hope we're gonna, we're gonna actually hear more of you on the IT show to look like closer into IT core and all the goodness with the Azure IT platform. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. All right, thanks.